another Bongani has left uh, his party, this time Bongani Mkongi. So <laughs> I remember speaking to Sikle when I met him. Sikle is a member of parliament from MK party. I remember asking him particularly about this issue of parachuting. And I'm going to repeat it. It sounds all well and fine whenever it happens, but in the ground forces, maybe others are pretending, maybe others are, but others are, are, are of course, speaking about how they feel. Uh, you know, a case in point is there were comrades who were marching, is it marching? No, they were picketing outside in Santon when uh, Zuma was giving a speech because they were not happy with with certain things and amongst them is parachuting. So we are told. And uh, it sometimes it's very difficult for me to speak on behalf of people who are not here and I always try to get them to be engaged and some are saying, yeah, no, but we can't speak uh, uh, to the public about this. Uh, it's going to put us in the wrong, but so I, I always try to give you what I have. So, Mkongi, let's let's stop it here. So, so we we remind people who is he and why is he famous, and why people, particularly now, they want him and why he's trending. Just watch this uh, this clip. The question arises. And uh, we must investigate also what is the law of South Africa says. How can a city in South Africa be 80% foreign nationals? That is dangerous. That in Hillbro and the surrounding areas South Africans have surrendered their own city to the foreign nationals. The nation should discuss that particular question. You won't find South Africans in other countries dominating a city into 80%. Because if we do not debate that, that necessarily means the whole South Africa could be 80% dominated by foreign nationals, and the future president of South Africa could be a foreign national. We are surrounding our land, and, and, and it is not xenophobia to talk truth. We fought for this land from a white minority. We cannot surrender it to the foreign nationals. That is a matter of principles. We fought for this country, not only for us, for the generations of South Africa. So, South Africa is in trouble. I've recently showed you a podcast of what uh, Devon ANC members have voted to not intervene in Spaza shop crisis. So let me put it again. They do not want the city to intervene in the problems of Spaza Shop. That's what the ANC has done. And I've not got an opportunity to ask Mkongi for obvious reasons, uh, because I, I, it would be very difficult to get hold of him now. Uh, but if I do try, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get him here to ask him, what exactly made you leave the a the ANC? Because all he points out is not the party that I joined, it's not the party. You know the typical ones that we've always had from people leaving ANC and people leaving EFF into MK. But of particular interest is, is I want to understand from him what made him quit. Is it uh, the warning? Because this man has warned South Africa many 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 months ago man 2019 is a long time he told them that guys if we are surrendering our city to these people who you know and people always think it's it that speech was uh, i remember ANC attacked him by the way they think that speech is xenophobic no he wasn't 
in general he was speaking about he may come out uh, in a in a in a difficult way but generally what he was saying is if we cannot control people if these people are not documented we do not know them and they're a majority where we are it's going to be difficult to control crime there he was being as a deputy minister so in short i'm saying he was right as right as he was he wasn't attended in the in the anc so he's made his his mark is is now an mk and has the problem of Hilbro has the problem of foreign spada shop left us no it hasn't it hasn't uh, you would remember mk was active especially in devon in clearing uh, uh, illegal uh, people who are working by the way i was i was debating with someone who was to <laughs> who when we were speaking i was saying so if a community if a community based in Mosina gather themselves they go to a spa or shop right in Mosina that community asks those people the the manager to say can you show us how many south africans you are employing on your on your database and and we want south africans to be employed why do we think that thing because the stakeholder relations this is what organizations must do to the people they work with in that community because being arrogant does not assist that business it's of that community so if that community says we as a community we want to know uh, because we don't want to withdraw our support without knowing you are going to say why don't we ask you so we are asking you show us your wage bill we want to see how many south africans do you employ how many businesses in our local area do you why when something like that happens of which is a very good uh, stakeholder uh, relationship that must be forged why when it happens we call it xenophobia because it's not it's when south africans are requested nicely by the way do we call it xenophobia i do not understand it and mkongi who is going to be an asset to mk if he's allowed to do what he does if what maybe it's not about him you know sometimes you can be typecasted for an event that you got popular by and and Kongi, we can't we can't run away from that uh, people want him to do exactly that because they are now saying this man warned us before about this particular thing so i i'm um, let me let let me allow you to watch other videos just to prove to you that uh, the problem that you want us about has gotten worse and people can't even solve it continue watching this is the side of people they never show you imagine look at this koala look at this and then the majestic if i have to flatten yeah. Hilbro, I will flatten the whole of Hilbro. Pensioners are paying for rates and taxes. Pensioners are buying prepaid electricity. Yeah. Criminals, foreigners who are staying in these buildings are not paying rates and taxes. They are not paying for electricity. They are not paying for water. Right. Yet there's electricity and water in these buildings. Okay, my so I am going to make sure that this, pros this, this program that we have started does not stop all right whether i'm a mayor or i i am not the mayor all right we're gonna have to leave it there thank salute you. thank you very much so the rates and taxes so it's good uh also team on my own individual so i own individual yes that's why it's a political government no you must but if you conduct you must fight the tell you right no, I don't have the number. You have to go to them. To whom? Mafati. What is Mafati? Mafati, come back. Hey, you are running for this. Mafati. What is the number? No, I know what. I go, no, 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 no,
you should be having them. See, I'm busy with when when you are here. I'm a number two. So if you're in those in Alwana, let's battle away. Yeah. It doesn't matter, but we can take a look. So, what is what you want? Yeah, that's what we do. So, who's the numbers? Who's the number? 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 <laughs> okay, okay. Where is the, 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 the owner? Okay, I'm a contact owner, person in my fat. No. So, where's the number of the owner? You are the caretaker. We caretaker, my friend. I'm a fat. 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 How are you? I'm okay, myself. Uh, my leader and myself. I'm okay, I'm okay. Mashia Ni here from Political Incorrect. We're recording a podcast. And sorry for not warning you in advance. Can you take a call? Yeah, it's fine. I can check your call, Commander. All right, sharp. So, man, uh, we, we we just wanted to, to check, man. Uh, uh, Bongani is the second Bongani to come to MK party. Bongani Nkunga, the former minister of police, who has in the past warned South Africa about the the risk of having uh, influx of foreigners who are not documented in an area like Hillbro. Uh, as a as a ground force, as someone who marshals ground forces north of Pretoria, is there anything that you'd want to to comment about? Yeah, you caught me here. Yeah, yeah man, that's why I apologize. Uh, that's why I apologize. I, I only, I only saw it on the news. Yeah. And then the the, the strategy of the Umkhonto uh, under the leadership of a uh, uh, commander, uh, is that we must all be on the ground for us to get the two that majority like he said. When the new born was born on the 16th of December 2023. So, on this one of the comrades that you are asking me, I won't say yes, I won't say no, because I haven't uh, heard anything. Uh, we, have, we, are not, we haven't received anything that is proper from uh, the, the, for the, an organizer, which is Comrade Floyd Shibam. And also, again, <coughs> I, I would like to, if then that's what his 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 tone or, or mind to come and join on Konto because what President Jacob Zuma asked is that all the political black uh, black, black South Africans let's unite and be and be one thing so that we can maneuver and we can try to find a solution for the South Africa to be the better South Africa. That's what I can say for now because remember. If I was, if maybe I was in the interim position like I was before, I was going to be able to give you a directive answer or respond. So what we know, what I can tell you is that the right person for you, for 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 for, for you to get a, a clear answer is Comrade Floyd because he's the one that is organizing. And also again, the, maybe the new uh, admin that uh, joined the Umkonto where last week on Thursday. So far here in Haute, we are not having any interim from what I heard uh, from the previous uh, briefing. Commander Morning. Commander Morning and apologies for ambushing you and I understand your sentiment. Uh, let me continue to feel. I just want to feel the ground forces, what is it that they feel. But uh, you are making a promise that you will come to the studio so you can indulge uh, the, our audience with what you know and with what you've been authorized to speak on and other matters that you, you, you promised to come to the studio on. I'm 120% that I'll, I'll come to the studio like you've asked me uh, and then I'll make that promise during this week, between Wednesday or Thursday, I'll come uh, and give you what I know because of I'm always on the ground. Even now, 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 as we speak, I'm about to go to 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 my to the nearest uh, uh, Pakistan shops. There is a crisis 
they found uh, things that are expired. I think it's something that it's, it's something that just happened today. So I'm not sure about it. But as a ground force, I'm, I'm I'll be there in an, in in an hour or so because now they caught me uh, while I was still preparing to buy because we, this water also is giving us another problem. They said the water will be proper, hundred percent drinkable. If I can even send you uh, this water that I'm using now, the smell is very bad. It's very bad. It cannot be used as a human being. Imagine bathing with such water would, would smell like this. It's so, it smells like a storage. It's so sad what is happening in South Africa. But I'm having a hope and the faith that under the umbrella of uh, um, and uh, our leadership, uh, Comrade Jacob Kegisazuma, at his age, hence he is still willing and wishing to see the South Africa uniting. Commander Morning. Commander Morning, let me uh, release you. You will tell me more about that incident because I don't want to prolong you. Uh, just very quickly, just tell me the location and the area where uh, comrades maybe might want to also pick up where the incident happened. The one that I'm telling yeah, you. I'm the, yeah, the yeah, the Spaza shop. Yeah, the Spaza. It's next to. It's next to. Uh, Kizazi. In Namanskral. In Namanskral. In Ward Seventy Five. Because I'm, I'm, I'm always monitoring these uh, shops. All right. Mostly when I go, something you'll find that it's being expired, or you'll find something that does not have a backup. And uh, lastly, I would like to ask the people of South Africa that before they go to these plaza shops, they must check, especially this cold drink, this, the bottle cold drink, the 1.251. There is no any backup. And uh, from what I know, uh, when I grew up, when we bought this uh, cold drink, uh, we, there was a barcode. Uh, I think next to where you open it, there must be a barcode. So these ones are not having any barcode. And uh, I can show you, I once uh, asked the guys who were drinking the cold drink uh, on Friday. I even have a bottle of that shop that I'm, I'm going there. There is no any indication to show who would the cold drink when does it expire? Any? It's a serious, 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 serious problem. I'm just asking myself why Coca Cola are allowing this thing to happen because these uh, Pakistans are, are, are messing up. We know that Coca Cola is the only cold drink that is it's coming from them, but now it's a problem with this Pakistan. Commander Moni. Commander Moni, let me release you. Let me get to the next commander just to hear what they feel on the ground. Thank you very much for, for taking our call. I really appreciate and have a lovely day. Being a call for Nanuti, you must also come and vote for Umkondo West Season 2026. Commander Moni. Morning, Commander. Yes, that was Tami. Uh, uh, Tami Semini Kopa is a ground force of MKs based in a very critical area called uh, Amanskara. Let's get back to uh, uh, Comrade Vuta. So from the north, the very north of of Gauteng, we are now going back to the very south of of Gauteng. Uh, Commander Morning. Commander Morning. Uh, Commander Vuta, how are you? I'm fine in you, my leader. I'm fine, man. Excuse for ambushing you. I'm shooting a podcast and uh, you are on the line. Uh, can we speak? Okay, my leader. Uh, I've got, I've, I'm sorry to ambush you, man. Uh, I'm doing a podcast about the uh, the, the incoming uh, member, the former uh, MP of the ANC, uh, Deputy Minister Bongani Nkongi, who has now joined mk as he says there's no official statement of course i just want you to give you an opportunity to feel how is it how does that make you feel as a member of mk and then uh, i've already uh, designed him uh, a role to say he might help mk with uh, spaza shops and infiltration of foreign nationals and stuff but before we dwell into that i just want you to to opine on what is it that you feel as an mk uh, leader 
thanks my leader and thanks also to your listeners and your viewers uh, commander uh, it was on the 13th of september when when i was requesting to uh, to the daughter of obaba o jacob zuma msholozi Tutuzile, to say Tutuzile. Can you please try to talk to Obaba to throw in this guy to MK because we need him. Remember, he was appointed as a deputy president when Baba was the president of the ANC of the country also. It was on the 13th of September. Uh, when I see the resignation, I was so happy. <clears throat> I said, I even said, thanks God, you answered uh, my request. Because I know the guy from long time ago. Uh, I was supporting the man most of the time when he speak, especially he's a very person who loves his country. This guy Utanda Ikandriake as he loves himself. And the person you remember, a person who loves his country is also loves his family. When you defend your country, that means you love your family, you love your neighbors, you love your people in your country. Now, Mina, I'm so very happy. Ugumbona Engena And I'm definitely also joining Mkondo because uh, he's one of those who have a uh, political background of Obaba Umsholozi Uzuma because he served under his leadership also. Uh, when I was starting to talk about the issue of foreigners, I remember I was very attacked on the issue of foreigners inside the ANC because also remember I was a member of the ANC. This thing is very sad because Yazi we are quietly because Abantubagiti, Abakonu Kuluma, because by Asaba, they are afraid to be arrested and to be attacked by the very same South Africans. Umkongi, I know him, is a very strong man, and that is why also he was never recognized after, after he issued the statement of the foreigners. I still remember this man, he said, foreigners are more than us now in our country. How can we have such a number of foreigners? Remember also me too, I was appearing most of the time uh, against this thing I'm a foreigner. Because you must also remember Ugut I Teto. In fact a law enforcement and intelligence that it can handle the number of foreigners who are not even registered with the home affairs people who even when they've done wrong you can't even recall uh, to, uh, it, 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 it subs as a south africa self in the mail why number yabanto basa south africa how much more must be foreign that is why you see nama poisa acting up in the google by giving it's because of but in the Zilegi, they don't know where to start. They don't know what to do. Because really, I'm a police is special in South Africa. I'm a police is in the number of South Africa. Even our government departments, Home Affairs, the SARS, uh, all these departments, the government, they send the number of people who are uh, 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 originally South Africans. Now, when you bring more numbers, that means you are killing the government. The government, it won't work anymore. It won't exist anymore. You can even go around on home affairs. You can see, I'm a queue. I actually have my home affairs. I'm a South Africans only. How much more am I foreigners? If you go around Guma police stations in South Africa, Utola Tole Gupage Ama Veni Ama Pakistan's match, Ama tech shops. 
<laughs> yes, you know what? He can't let you. It looks like it's gone, man. We don't have a dignity anymore in this country because of the government that we have. Even now, the government is it's failing to uplift all the hospitals, uh, the police stations, to renovate them, to come bigger uh, because of the number of people who are inside our country. They are allowing people to come in our country, but they are failing to develop uh, the Ama police station, Nama hospital, Nama home affairs, but Kashama South Africans to work there. We as Booza, what, what that does it mean? It's to destroy the country, obviously. Comrade Vota, were you, My leader. Were you in Santin on Friday? Yes, I was in Santin on Friday. Were you part of those who were picketing outside the uh, the venue? No, I'm one who mobilized members of the MK to come and protect Obama. Against the protesters? Yes. Do you know why were they protesting? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I know. I, say, I can say yes, I know why they were protesting. What were their allegations? Uh, why were they not happy? I can say those members who were protesting there. It's a long story also. Lama Comrade Lawa at the protest lap. Lama Comrade Engachi. I feel a bad. I feel like Engachi a overtake wa. Ama members a resign a gumanya ma political parties to come and join um condo. So this is a bunch. Now, this is a bunch of comrades who are against parachuting of new members. Yes. And now, what is said is that Uguti Ubaba wa announcer Uguti, he's welcoming all people who wants to join Omkondo from all politi black political parties in the country. Where were they when Ubaba began that invitation? Now, he has, he among us, because Mobache Kalabo Bandega de Benza Leo protest. Abantu all along Ebe by party leadership. Mapagat Gomkond. Some members they were complaining. They were complaining Alabo Bandu. Befaga ama ama complaints, ama report before ama national election after umlo umkondo was launched. Uguti Labantu they don't respond guma problems is now mapagat gomkond. Now, Moba Manje, sex of Anama changes. Sebe Akala Manje, Sebe Sebe Konu communicator Nama branches, Sebe Konu communicator Naba and. But all along they were not communicating with our people. Do you know them we, by name? Uh, yeah, I know them. Uh, can you indulge us on who are they? Maybe we can get feedback from them. Umkojo, uh, the plague, uh, who's this guy? Uban, 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 all right, no. And I know their agenda. Those people, they have agenda. We have a lot of my officials, the ANC, Babu Yebe Zolon, Chama Yu, Ama Women Sleep, Na Pankom Kondo. We know a lot of stories about them. We've been raising those things, but some they were taken serious, some they were not taken serious. But now I think the leadership, now I have one of the business school, I have one of the business of the problem, Na Pankom Kondo, how they? So does it mean As that? It means the S thing Gaga because born up self by part of the leadership. Now le ANs wuti born up to be Yibaba organizer against the Umkondo. It shows that wuta banda ba sechenzi swayo ne muva ba sechenzi swama opposition parties because they don't listen Obaba. They want them to be listened. I don't understand how. Now that I'm not my fighting apart. I'm not my fighting apart from Umkondo. Kuna bantu abasebenziswa 
the ruling party to divide umkondo we are aware of those things and uh, some of them these people they took money from these people from the ruling party's leadership man jese be ya push on a move ukuthi lento enani tene zoyenza ukudestroy umkondo egauteng ngathi ayisenzeki now what is going to happen but under pressure in fact so the the women's league still sits without uh, a defined leadership uh, will Shelley brown be the first uh, and was her structure uh, properly constituted the one that she was running and is she in line with the new one after everything that has happened there was no any structure that was formalized say say, say women's league there was no any structure. Was she given authority fact, to mobilize? No Commander, pardon? Was she given authority to mobilize uh, the women in Mukondo Wesizo to form the Women's League? No. No, no one gave him that, uh, that, info, that uh, instruction. It's something that was planned by them. How are they going to overtake the MK? Because uh, 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 president um and then Usheli Brown must go and, and structure a women's league on the ground. He, she will become a president of the uh, 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 MK uh, women's women's league, the yeah, yeah, MK part. You can see where this thing come from. Now. Also, Mkojo, he was pushing Uguti Ubaba Ushope. He must be removed as a deputy president of Mkond. Of which we already picked up somewhere, somehow, good. Mkojo is pushing this because it was their plan way back. That is why Obona Ishauting, Ingati, he mix up. But the best ally everywhere, the best ally in Angama Convina, Angama Coordinator, Bafunugu Mosh. And like it was a very serious plan. That is why Mautu Yapega, Nalama Krusa, Babu Pazuga, and all that. Baba Peace, but the step and Nkama Yama membership. Ubaba, he took out an instructions to say about about two membership one by a boy about the peace of president to say there's no any membership that will be taken in housing but confuse about to enter the one to my problem my my leader come right my problem apart from in fact the one they must be expelled immediately in fact because they are not even affecting apart from court so tell me man commander Vuta, there are allegations that people want uh when floyd shibambu speaks uh, they don't want to take it serious. They want they want to wait for Msholuzi to say it again. And case in point is uh, the the announcement that all provincial structures and regions are going to be collapsed. A new one will be announced. And in, on Friday, when you were there, uh, we know of provincial convener Mpumalanga in KwaZulu Natal was clear, and the others were waiting. What is the status quo? Is it and this rumor that says people are undermining Floyd in MK? Is it true? Yeah. Look, uh, as I'm saying, people are pushing their own agenda. Remember now, because the sex, sex of trauma structures, they, those who were in power in that time, they were even told that they are not permanent. These people, am I interims? And some they were appointed. And they were told that you guys you are not permanent. As Baba is busy removing others, they are not complaining. Why them? They must complain. Who Floyd? He's like a, any member who come from any political party who joined MK because of the ideology of Umkondo Wesizwe and the constitution of Umkondo Wesizwe and the policies. Now I don't understand why him. It's because of this. A, 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 a position he is holding to being an organizer, they feel threatened. It, it, it's to be a, a, it's to claim to being a politician, but not understanding I'm a politic. Uh, uh, now, who uh, Floyd? Who Floyd into Apiweona? It's a mandate from the Umkondo from Umkondo Isisu. Uguti a a a a check Uguti province. 
Aga sugenanga ye na wati mfunu duyo cheka guma province. He was given a mandate by the president that we respect ukomri tuba abu mshulus. Now, failing to understand Uguti, if he's doing his job, like any other person who will be given a job, a task to do his job, he must be rejected. Why? Because there are people who are threatening to say they will do one, two, three. No, there's no such a thing. They mustn't try to create a division about Gomkoto that is not there. People are happy on the, on the ground about Gomkoto. People are still coming to join Gomkoto. If you still remember, I said it before Ama Ama national election to say we are still waiting for almost 200 members officially who are going to join Gomkoto. Uh, Commander Vuta, uh, let me just give you two minutes just to announce uh, what happened at the press conference that I could not make it. Just two minutes just so you kept it, so we close it. Uh, what happened in the municipality? Uh, in the municipality, what is happening, we found out the information that the media uh, Abantu abar distepa i i mi a amalo na ma journalisti la ichau ding. E gutu la gele gutu uti kei. The member ye ANC la ichau ding. Iyo e e e e e e kona yugu ti it distepa la ize ugu ti zindo zala iva e endo in is the beings inga be exposed because they are part of those who are looting this municipality. Are you alleging that? Are you alleging that the the provincial secretary of the ANC TK Niza? Uh, is controlling yes. the media to come and cover you. Yes, that is why, if you can check, most of the things, and I remember all these municipalities of Gauteng are one of the most corrupt municipalities, including our municipality. To show that what is true, uh, in Tuane, uh, the section 139 1c it was implemented why because of it was led by the ta and uh, isn't those corner it was always exposed now comes with, comes to 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 city bank uh, it went easy the bank municipal influence municipality went into under administration three times why it's not applying the same uh, to 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 collapse the municipality like as they did a trial. It's quiet. Of which the, mini, uh, the minister, uh, the MEC of Gokta, why I forgot? Why I forgot? Yeah. He said it live on TV that the municipality is bankrupt again. How many times? It's three or four times now. Now, because it's led by the ANC, because the province is ANC, they don't want to collapse this municipality because they are they are part of the looters of this municipality. They yeah. don't want to expose whatever what is happening in Fulani because they know that they are part of the problem in this municipality. But this municipality is gone, my brother. We are working hard to taking over this municipality. We know everything that what is happening there. Yeah. Uh, Commander Money. Commander Money. Thank you very much. Thanks, my leader. That was Vota from Sidibeng. Sidibeng, like I said, it's south of Johannesburg in the Val. Uh, it's another section of the province of Gauteng. Many things that he has said, uh, amongst other allegations, is the controversies involving Floyd and the leadership tussles. Uh, the same way I said about Floyd, the same way I said about other leaders coming into MK. Will Bongani Kongi find space to operate? Will he be respected? Because it's not like when he comes to MK, there are no leaders. There are leaders, as you heard, who are also contesting for certain position and they feel aggrieved when people are being parachuted because they're being parachuted over them. And don't think this is only isolated to MK. I spoke about it at EFF as well. Uh, let us not pretend that when someone is being parachuted, uh, hearts are not broken, dreams are not shattered. Every parachuting, 
someone wa kawate. Remember, I did a podcast immediately when the numbers of the EFF came, and I showed you people who had not made it to parliament by the list submitted by uh, EFF, of course. Uh, you will remember that the public protector, Wiswam Kwebane, had not made the list, but the deployment committee at EFF had to take someone out of the list and put Wiswam Kwebane, and she left. She went to join a party where she she feels at home with because she's more likely to be a provincial a premier in the next five years but with EFF chances are no and she was recruited and she got if, if you had Vuta Vuta does say he he had hunted uh, the former deputy uh, uh, minister uh, so people do want people to come into MK but as they come it presents challenges because for capacity of this political party, they also need some help in getting out external resources. And these external resources come as human resources. And humans generally find competition when, whenever they, they need to compete for same, for same space. My shared political incorrect has been a long one. Please tell me what you feel about it. What role will he play? It's a crisis that is are waiting for someone like like him because that's what made him popular thank you very much etada hey,